Welcome back, everybody. This is our second uh, video for the market watch for SPs. Uh, this video is to to see where prices are before festival collection and set to drop um, the next following month. So this is kind of a recap to see you know, you know where we're at and you know see if anything's good value. If you have cards that you want, maybe you don't want to keep that are SPs. See if you want to sell them now. Probably maybe a good time. Um, we'll see. So. Uh, we'll start off, we'll do what we did last time, and start with lowest going to highest. First off, we got the Hyper Robo Cheval Stud. Hyper Speed Robo. Hyper Speed Cheval Stud. Four. Sorry. Um, currently, lowest right now is around $7. And going by the market, thankfully TCG Player now has a new kind of a latest sales, which is pretty cool. Haven't seen this before. Can you price guide a little bit to the left? I can't. Really? Oh, no. That's all right. But as we can see here, uh, market price is at 647 medium listings, 836 So people are trying to sell them high. Probably a good chance to if you have one. Or if you might get phased out in the later collections of Festival and Set 2. Right, moving on, we got Painkiller Angel. I know this is one of your favorites. Yep. Best card in the deck. If you're not picking them up, you're losing out. It's going to be like $20 soon. <laughs> Let's see. What do we got here? All right. We're seeing some interesting values going from $5 to around 12 Tell people that got them for 5 Some good pluses right there. Yeah. Or bought for 12 they are champ. <laughs> they know where good stuff's at. All right. Next thing. Dream nibbling. One of. One of. It's your starter. <laughs> Has it moved a lot? It's five dollars at one point. Yeah, but you know, it's one Lincoln, two Lincolns, two Lincolns. I think it's fine for where it's at. Yeah. Not much to talk about there. Uh, Stealth Dragon, Tensha Steed. Okay, this one's the one where there's. You know, there's a debate with the Nirvana deck. Do you play Tensha Stead or do you not? Or do you just play like vanilla attackers? What do you think? Um personally I like this card. Um, consistently being able to to throw it down behind any lane and threaten to get a persona right is pretty good. Um, with the announcement of Elliger, maybe this does see play. Uh, as my personal take is you kind of shift away from Valiente to Elgar more. Has it's a, it's a body still, but has shield value, which is a little insane. I think this card still not going to be played <laughs> because the monk requires a counter blast as well. Even though you counter charge with that new Elgar guy, so uh, yeah, okay. my take on it. All right, all right. Just move on from there. Ooh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, we got the Sylvan Horde Beast Glenolsla. Nipple Bear. Nipple Bear. You just died him? I guess. Yes? Well, let's see what the market says. Um, pretty much where it's at. Someone got him for 8 bucks. Pretty good price. One counter blast is pretty heavy. This feels real cool though. One counter blast is pretty heavy. You need that one counter blast to fill your board. You need to attack from that back row. We'll see where it goes. All right. I'm well, moving on. Rancor Chain. All right. Um, I mean, you only play one. Yep. It, it, you can debate on the use of it, but there are just a generic AK boosters that hit 10k. So, I mean, this is kind of a hard card to figure out if you want. Now, if it's at 5k, that's a different story. That hits good magic numbers. What are you talking about? 10 boosting at 13. 23. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I still only play one. I would too. Um, market says, still same pricing. Around 13 bucks. I mean, you only have one of, so it's not bad if you want to have you know, some flashy bling into your uh, red deck. 
Who do you got here? Ah, it's your favorite Made in Kong. No, it's not. Oh, Ange? <laughs> Hashtag free Ange, but she wrote. You know it. Free, free Ange. I'm going to ride it. It's not on the next band list. <laughs> um, Spurring Made in Lane. Do you have any yeah. thoughts on it? Well, I mean, it's uh, another one counter blast, one soul blast from what deck that is uh, short on resources in both fronts. So I think it's a good card. Would I play four of? Maybe it's good to see in the opening hand. You know, you can play it down, soul blast, whatever, and then call it back out so you can rush with it. Um, moving forward, um, I think the order card kind of replaces her, though. It's the mill three call two with your Magnolia. So yeah, one for two. This does get a body on the board and it gets a card out. But uh it's soul. Although soul blasting is not bad because you can get your persona out and you can use ghost chase to bring back your persona. Oh. Very good. So you know, maybe we'll still see play. That's maybe that's why it's like fifteen still. <laughs> maybe maybe it goes down to like a two of. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mark it still says fifteen bucks with what was sold before, so pretty okay. Next off, we got Eugene. Best deck in the format. Oh god, 1675. So probably right around where we said initially where it was gonna land at, I think. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I thought it was set around $15. Uh, we got some um, crazy prices here. Eugene Sims. We got some like $28. Of people spending here, and then we get below up. Did I see a ten twenty two? I did see a ten twenty two. In like a three day difference, like you got some really big disparities in terms of who's buying him. Uh, I mean, maybe he gets better support in the future. Uh, for what we know right now, yeah, nah. especially that guy that bought for twenty eight bucks, he's uh, really hoping. To what dude? I would hope so too. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to wait. <laughs> All right, moving up. Don't want to talk about Eugene no more. Ah, Steam Battler Gungram. Now this card is good. It's good in Bruce. It's good in Barrel Magnus. It's uh, only two Dark States of Ride Lines right now, but both of them good. I play four of. I think, but I think I like it a lot just because it doesn't have the you know, misprinted Persona red. That means it's weaker. It's weaker. So I wouldn't play. <laughs> but like look how nice and clean it is yeah but it says the border though we need borderless full art come on Bushiro maybe in the future market says uh, same thing with Eugene a little bit out of $35 that, that poor guy they're, they're hoping maybe you just need to finish the place that has a budget buying the $35 one I mean, with 26 listing now, maybe that guy's a little regretting on it, but he can't regret. Yeah, no regrets. Moving on. Upward Acrobat Marjorie. This card's good. Played Bruce last weekend. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why more than, I guess people don't like football. But, damn, that deck's good. <laughs> I mean, with the uh, online tournaments that were happening, Bruce made good toppings. Bruce did win. <laughs> so. I mean, it says a lot about the deck, right? Yeah. It, it does have the best kill potential in terms of late game. Uh, same with Bastion. Bastion can just rush earlier, which makes it slightly ahead, especially if Bastion goes first against Bruce. Uh, but, you know, multi-attacks are pretty strong. Multi-attacks, and you know, to filter your hand with, for cards and soul. That was really good. Yeah. Trade a card, a 5k shield for a draw, a 5k shield for something to soul, personal ride, PG, your over trigger that you probably soul charge. <laughs> yeah, it's a good card. I don't know if it'll be power crept, but it'll probably be a while before it gets power crept. I mean, the only thing I can think of power creeping is this turns into a 2. Nah. Body on board? There's the new card in set 2 that says, like, on hit soul charge, and it attacks the column. Mm hmm. And then if it hits, you call out a card from Salt to oh, open. That's, that's pretty good. So you can like do some shenanigans where you suck something up and then you hit with it and then you call another attack out so you can extend your attack. I mean, you have to be in final rush, but I always do enjoy having at least a five if it, a shield on the board. If these cards did not have the final rush requirement, they'd be broke. Yep. Yeah. 
care. <laughs> so I'll sing. All that that would make this better if it's uh, great too. Just a little bit better. Not much more better, but just a little bit. Nah, I'd rather have a 13 base. I'd give her 23 on there. <laughs> Vanguard. Forget shielding. Alright, market says it was pretty average. Yeah. 17, 18, 15, 20. Yeah. So, on the $17 mark. Pretty good, pretty good. Moving on. Alright, Inheritance Maiden Hedrina. The Grand Blue Neo Nectar Wannabe. Yeah, this card's confusing. But, um, kind of necessary for the current Zorga deck to just be able to spam the Soul Blast orders. Yeah, I mean, next set to get that great one that negates Counter Blast, so you have both of them on board. Oh, it's yeah. free. That is going to be a good Sack card. Two free summons. And you have that. You have the order, the order that can get it, that can give crit. That's pretty good. Or they can get orders back. Or they can get orders back. Wait, that's the one. That's the that's the body. That's the one K that no, grade one that like you play it, take from your bind, your orders and shove them back into your uh, graveyard. Is that other order that brings back two orders from the drop as well? What? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Let's see. I mean, it's currently necessary. Market kind of says twenty. That's Seeing the trend line. Twenty-two, fifteen, sixteen. It's set around 20. I think that's like, that's like in the middle. Listed median is 24. People are... People are thinking it's going to go up. I think it's going to go up. I think so, too. Yeah. More Soul Blast orders that come out, this just gets more value. Mm -hmm. Alright. Enough about that. We got Cardinal. Hey, look. Another one up. This is twice the price of the other guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, Baby Chaos. Baby Chaos. Like Baby last Messiah. time. I mean, market says 20. If you need one, just buy one. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Yeah. Move on. Alright, Hexa Horb. Hexa Orb. 30 Sorcerer. bucks. 30, 30 bucks at the lowest. There's like four listings only. Uh, Let's see what Market says. Bought them out. Who would do that? I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I play OQT. I, I've, I've done it before where I've seen low SPs and sometimes I just buy them out because I really like the stuff and then all of a sudden like the rest of the stuff are just gone. Uh, I won't say for what um, but I, I've I've messed with the market for some reason. I mean you spend a grand on SPs and like what? Like everyone starts buying SPs all of a sudden? I don't know. I really liked what I bought so that's why I bought it. Was it a grand? I'll say it's grand. Might have been more than that left. She was seeing what made me in our prime. Bermudas for days. Bermudas for days. Um, but, um, this one might be a little bit inflated just because of the low inventory. Uh, Let's be real. If you wanted it, you would have had it by now. Pretty much. Pretty Unless much. something like OP comes on, then you want it. Then they just pay the price right now. Exactly. So, yeah, we'll see probably more come into the market soonish. Maybe not if people want to dump it. Until like August. Yeah, too. I don't even know if that too would boost that up. But this is why this video is here, just to see if it would stay at this price or fall flat. Would not buy at that price. My two cents. The free inch two cents. Yep. Yeah. We'll move on. Nothing much more to say. Kurt Trigger. This fell, didn't it? Or did it go up? Uh, the Chris has always been around. Like the twenty twenty five dollar mark. You know, the moment they revealed those front triggers with effects, there's gonna be crit triggers with effects too. Probably not for a bit. It's at three. It's at three. It's at three. For sure. Not I'm, for I'm, sure. A, I'm gonna say set five. I'm gonna say they're gonna give it a little bit of a chance to not have effects before they start bringing them in. I mean, I guess front sucks, so they have to make it good somehow right exactly and i think probably a full year or close to it. wait i'm trying to map how many four sets would be it'd be half a year it'd be set five then every two months okay so, so about so about half a year they want to keep friends more relevant i'm thinking if 
front so lucky with a 5k shield. You're not wrong, but like we got we gotta think about what the R and D team would do. And I would probably think that every half year they'll they'll, they'll do a little shake up on okay. trigger effects. Let's go back in time a little bit. Did okay. you think stand triggers suck back then in most uh, decks? Uh, most decks. Up until like very late into Yeah. Yeah, they sucked, yeah. yeah. Well, you weren't there for G format. It was not? Well, they printed OP skills on stands, and everyone just ran stands. Okay? Yeah. So, maybe, fronts will be good when they print even more OP stuff on there. All I know is that some stands are uh, limited to one. Yeah, that's why. They <laughs> <laughs> do some stupid loops. <laughs> Alright, moving on. This is Crit Trigger. What else we got here? Another Crit Trigger from Brinkate. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Horse apps that bought it for 30, 30 32. 32, 20, 20, 20. I got a good deal on it. 25, 25. Yeah, I think yes, if you want shiny crits, now then just buy it. Exactly. Just move it on. But right, now you have more time to play with. Exactly. Rotate, and not rotated, but power crit. Cardinal Noid. I mean, you'd, you'd run the one of. Yep, just like the uh, Zolga grade one. The Rancor. You. Um, market still says they're on the same price. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, it's just Brady. Say he's coming. Yeah. Hope not. I gotta make sure. Oh, sorry. Um, Bear oh, Magnus. Magnus. Okay, so it was like, like at 20 bucks. Now he's at 35 $36. I mean, someone got him for 18 that was its original price. Or an 18, yeah. Um, so it's... Nice. It fluctuated a lot. <laughs> it's inconsistent, just like the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I will say, playing against you a few times with it, I did enjoy it. The only problem I had is that sometimes I ran into, like, slight breaking problems. Yeah, inconsistencies. Yeah. You can get the 15 still off by, like, turn 4. Ooh, you're good to go. Exactly. You're probably going to win. I always try to do it at turn three. It's really hard. I'm always like one or two off. Mm -hmm. I think the order card uh, needs to get replaced with something like a body. That would help a lot. Or maybe we need to play more order cards. <laughs> That's. But thirty six seventy four for Barrel Magnus. Hmm. Hmm. It could get more support, which could make it better in the future. It's one of the scarier things. The stuff I've seen so far is still the same thing, though, where it's just Soul Charge 2, Soul Charge 1. They're not trying to... Give it that Soul Charge 3. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to make it so you, like, consistently get to 15 on first try. Just tur turbo, yeah. turbo into it, and then just have five attacks. So I feel like if they can make it consistent enough for turn 4, I think it'd be a really good deck. I think they're going to they're gonna do that mistake where they put an order that says put 3 in. I'm ready for it. It would have to I'm be not. a pretty big cost, though. Probably. For, like, Counterblast 2. <laughs> Counterblast 1, push 3, regards to soul. Oh. <laughs> Minus 3. Minus 4, because you discard that order. Right. There needs to be an order card that, like, has it has itself going to the, uh, um, soul 2. That'd be cool if that, with the order card from set 1 that you play, uh, would shove into soul 2. That's usually how I'm one off. Is, maybe maybe it, that's is why. the order. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe the R&D team, th team thought about that already. That's why. <laughs> no, no. Moving on. Because Barry Magnus is cool. Um, but not much to say. If you already have them, it, it is what it is. If you have them that you don't want, just sell them now. Easy. Or just wait for the reprint if you need to buy them. Have to. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, Cardinal yeah. Primo. It's a heal trigger. Heal triggers are a little bit more of a premium. Just because we got waifu tax. It's borderless. It is borderless. It's very pretty. Shiny. I wouldn't run it. It's just me. I play prison girls, so. You gotta wait for a festival collection for yours. I know! And those will maybe be really expensive, but I'm not sure yet. Love to see. You can pre-order on a specific website that ends with 808, probably starting this Thursday, Friday. Not Wait, Thursday's today. Hashtag not sponsored. 
because I got checked. You can continue one more. It's okay. But not much to say. Probably it will stay around this $25, $30 mark. People that can get it for less, pretty good. Not. Out of luck. And if you want it, you buy it. Not much to say. Actually, Festival Clash only gives two new cards per, per clan. Yep. Or nation. Yep. Everything else is a reprint. Re yeah. Is every reprint an SP then? No. Or okay. Only, only the uh, the triggers. Three, the start. The, the thing that makes a picture. The, okay. Yeah. So everything that's printed there would make the picture. It was the trial deck triggers plus the starter plus the uh, right boss line. boss unit and the right lines to yeah. It's gonna be one of the best things to pull out. All right, rogue, a rouge. I like calling your auto. I grab roll. $35. When I paid $35 for that. Um, at its current mm. state of the deck? No. So you're saying the deck is trash? It's not bad, but it's just not good enough yet. You know what deck it beats? The other bad decks. Beats a uh, Magnolia. Magnolia. Beats uh, Zarga. Zarga's. I, would I can't say, say it's bad. It's I would say Zorga's it's good. good. <laughs> Magnolia is good too. Like it is another slow deck, um, yeah. but it can consistently pump out four attacks. No, it can't. Not if you don't have rear guards. I mean, that's <laughs> come on. Magnolia, come Magnolia on. needs some stuff to fill the board yeah. to make it better. I do appreciate this SP a lot. Uh, one of the main reasons I I don't know if I said it from the last video, yeah, but yeah, yeah. There's no skill. There's no rule text. Rule yeah. Text. yeah. That's the, like why like why print that like what's the point? Because it's a new game or new boot re reboot new boots. No, I don't care enough. New boots. Don't care enough. Remember when uh, we saw the triggers for the first time? We thought, oh my gosh, we're getting Skills. effect triggers right away. Mm -hmm. Oh man, nope. nope. Just, just reminder text. Just reminder text. I don't like reminder. I okay. It's because we played the game for like seven plus ten years. Ten years. Already, ten ten years. years. It's not ten yet. Yes, it is. It came out in two thousand eleven. Okay. But that's like December, though, right? No, that Back. was... Back, look up, look up. Right now. Right now? Look up Blaster Blade Trail Deck. Probably December 11 or something. Yeah, yeah spell that fight right. <laughs> yeah, spell that Vanguard right, too. <laughs> this is why our titles on the videos are always wrong. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this came out. TD01 right there, yeah, yeah. That's the first trial that came See, December 3rd, it's not even 10 years yet. I knew it. Took the game. It came out February 26th. Yeah, that's for Japan, though. Told ya. Can't, unless you play the Japanese game, then sure. Well, Mang played the Japanese game. <laughs> I have his Japanese Blaster Blade deck. <laughs> Actually, how I got into it was I watched the anime, and me and uh, my friend Mike uh, got the trial deck, so we just started playing in class. So that was pretty cool. All right, moving on though, SP video, uh, not reminiscing with the past. So, um, I didn't buy these at thirty-five. I bought them at twenty each. So they got good value for me. Um, I mean, they they they've been like weirdly waning. I mean, low stock too doesn't help. Five listings. It's pretty low. I put up a fifty. <laughs> Um, but all I'm seeing here is that it confirms that, oh, someone bought it from 43. They just need to finish their playset, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so around the $25 mark is probably where a good price point, but we'll have to see how the reprint handles this. You know how it's going to handle it? It's going to drop in price. 25 Yeah, probably 25 I think 25 is a fair number for it. Hold on. <laughs> Fosado. Oh, one of the best cards in the set. Tell me, I, tell me. I mean, it's free. You can't target it. You, you just hit anything and you get free resources for some reason. The 13k base is a great 3, so it works with Bastion. It works with Hexor. It works in Rural Paladin. It works in Shadow Paladin. <laughs> I don't know. card's good. 35 99 yeah, I'd buy them. Maybe if they were, they were even cheaper before, but I'd still buy them. It was lightly played at 21. Oh man, lightly played. It's not near mint. Lightly played, 24. 24, 20. I, I mean, people that can get them for 20, it's pretty good. 
I think it's probably going to plateau around 30, 35 now. Because, like, even at 10 listings, which is a lot for this card. Because if you already have them, yeah, I mean, you already have them. Big card is good. Yeah. Not much to say. Just keep moving on. We'll just rip through these quickly. Over triggers, they're all around 30 after shipping and tax, so. Oh, Eden. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. Got to slow, got to slow down. All right, all right. All right so let's, let's look. All right, so you turn around the 20, 20, 25. 20, 30, And then all of a sudden, 35. 35, 35 31, 31, 30. And then the wait a little bit, then goes back up, and then it's someone's on 16. 16, what? They think like they're trying to get rid of it or something? Apparently. That was today. Hmm. Maybe they just need to get rid of it or something. That's why. Their card. <laughs> but twenty eight ninety nine for Eden. Eden is a he is really strong. He is. You hit them, something dies. You hit their rear guard, another rear guard dies. He restands, you hit them for two damage. Right. Good card's good. It's good. <laughs> you just play four of it. It works in the early game, it works in the late game. I don't know. I <laughs> mean, on. restand crit. Yeah, restand crit. Early game, if they decide to throw down like a Verena or something, you just hit them and then the Verena dies and the other card dies too. It's just dead. It's just, yeah, for one counterblast. And That's pretty strong. Yeah, Bruce doesn't use counterblast early game too, so. Yeah. Uh, but would you buy for 2899 though? If I, I really if I really wanted him, and because I know how good Bruce deck is, yeah. I think 30 is more than a fair enough card. Yeah, okay. I mean, the reprint would probably drop it to. I had to guess probably back down to twenty again, and then probably plateau at twenty five once there's you know the list is yeah. way out. I don't think Bruce is going anywhere too. It's gonna be a top deck for a while. Uh-uh. Bash and Bruce. We'll have to see like how the other decks shape up with their extra support. They might get shifted more toward leaning towards them, and then we'll probably have a race of just like who can lean the hardest on the other deck. But we'll we'll, we'll see that later. Arcs. All right. All right. Okay. Buy them now, boys. Buy them now at twenty dollars. You need four of them. No more. Just just buy them at four. This is kind of crazy, right? So Elgar was announced. So we know what's gonna happen in the future. Why is it twenty now? Like, like we can even see like looking back here. It was higher. Well, how many are listed at twenty though? Hmm. And- Maybe they're just trying to sell it at okay, 20, 24, 27. Okay, see, there's only two at 20, 24. Card capitalists probably just get trying to get rid of their one card. <laughs> I don't know. But Maybe. buy it. Buy it. <laughs> just go buy it. Just do it. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Um, yeah. He's not going anywhere, guys. Don't replace him with the new guy. <laughs> 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 replace the other arena with the new guy. We saw that in, the, in our own uh, chat group, right? Like we saw some, uh, some players wanting to, uh, you know, cut down on arcs. No, arcs is your turn to play. Please play four so you see it <laughs> as often as possible. Please, uh, please. blast one draw two is pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it doesn't like net you a plus, it cycles through your deck. I think D format is more about like cycling rather than hard plusing, so you have more quality over quantity. Oh. Unless you're passing, you just draw. Like, well. <laughs> Agreed, agreed. Alright, moving on. Oh, PGs, we, we can rip through these guys yeah, pretty PGs quick. Are 27. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're, they're... Yeah, they got it for 20, or now you gotta pay 30. That's the thing. That's pretty much it. Alright. Over triggers, yep. 30. Same, same uh, he there. hasn't moved, not that I'm seeing. 30. Maybe 25 after the reprint, you know, but if you need it, just get it. Yeah, 30. Surprised that 33 now, it used to be at like 25. It's like the lowest of them, but All right. Cardinal Noy, the grade two. One of them. One of them. Um Market says the same thing, so we're just gonna move on. Just quickly on those boys. Uh PG for Soikea. Yep. Ooh, it, it did shoot someone bought it for fifty, forty eight, forty five. They need, those guys just needed the last card. They need, they just they <laughs> That's just my excuse. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> or my reasoning. Or they had money to burn. All right. Black Tears? Black Tears has also... Eh, it's no. 5K. No, it's not magic. a one-off. It makes numbers. It does make numbers. 
I do prefer this more than the grade three that has the same thing. Oh, the uh, the water dragon, two yeah. dragon. Yeah. Even though it's hitting for eighteen, I I rather have a body. I always like the extra five k guard if I can. Sometimes I I end up having five k short sometimes in some of the Zorga decks that I have seen and have played with. So um, I think this is better. Thank you for price. I like Shulman. Bubble hey, Mine. Our boy, Bubble Mine. This was a fairly, like, contested card, right? At, at one point, we saw this, like, have a few listings for around $75. Why not? I, I think it's a good card. I think it's a card that's not going anywhere. Like, for any Branky deck. Yep. I think even in premium, too. Like, you know, you even in premium? Like, even in Prison Girls, like, maybe you don't need four right now. But eventually you're going to get more uh, cards that will open up more ways, more like options to play the deck. And you'll probably need Bowl of Mine because they'll probably be using Counter Glass. Yeah. So, I mean, it does two things, right? It does the same thing as Fasado except it just blinks. Yep. Plus it gets rid of itself so, you know, can't get uh, prisoned or blown up or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. If you need to use it that turn, you just do it, get rid of it, just have the extra soul. Because we know Prison Girls will use it. In Orphus, will you? Orphus does not use it, but we'll use it mostly for its orders. For that deck. Alright, moving on. Um, 35, I think. 35, 30, 40. 35. Ooh, just, just a little everywhere. Hey, one guy again. Yeah, you need to finish this. Yeah, play yeah, set. Play set, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see the other guy. Twin Buckler. Same thing. He was at 30 earlier. Someone must have bought them out, so. I mean, you pay the tax for it now, then. Yeah. For not getting in. Violate Dragon. Um, Brand Gate Hype. It is Brand Gate Hype. It also is, like, weirdly weird amount of stock, too, that, you know, just comes and goes. Mm -hmm. Like, seven listings, but I swear I saw it at, like, 20 listings before, and now it's just gone. Yeah. I mean, if you need it, you grab it. If you want it, grab it. Pay the tax. I don't know. And ask me your dragon, the Keter Sanctuary, OT. Is there a dragon? Looks like a Pegasus. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure it's that same one guy. Fifty bucks. <laughs> huh. I mean, thirty-five, forty. 40. I mean, yeah. best deck in format. It gets that extra bump, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know about this. 45, uh, I mean, low quantity. I think it's having that same issue that the uh, Perfect Guards have for the SPs. Moving on. Uh, Alden. Alden at 33. Yeah, Alden's a good card. Probably the card next to Fasado. Would you buy 33? See, I, I'd be smart and already like, buy that 20 when it first came out. Oh, okay. <laughs> But if I decided to pick up Bastion right now, because I was like going to go pro and card fight Vanguard or something, like get sponsored or whatever, sure. Sure. If I wanted to play my deck, yeah. Do I it. mean, you got, you got a few 40s here, so obviously this is a good card for a reason. Especially at yeah, its price. Let's see. Just seeing it. All right, right into yeah. uh, oh. Pauser. Um, we can go through like last four. But he's at the Text. door. Go get him then. Okay. I'll just keep going. I'll do Pixie. You know. Heal trigger. Easy. Alright. We'll come back to Ange here. Hopefully soonish. Oh. gonna hold off and we're just gonna pause here i guess we okay doesn't matter okay. all right we're back we're back, we're back. we got back. we got a special guest here <laughs> introduce yourself hello i'm brandon i'm part of the group too are you sure <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's questioning his uh his membership here all right brandon what do you think about the uh, 40 dollar price tag on the valiant sp 
Uh, it's a fair deal. You think uh, it could be lower? What do you think about the price? I think it's a fair price. For fair that price. Do okay. you think so? think so? I think so. Sure. <laughs> um, well, let's look at the let's look at the history. Here. Well, okay. History. So. Uh, Forty dollars a card. I mean, people were paying like fitty, almost fifty oh, there. Fitty. Yeah. But people were paying to fifty for this a place while. So. Three. <laughs> Um. Dang. Yeah, I guess you know if you pay for it, you go for it. Dang. Right. Crazy. Hey, if you want to bling out your deck, you bling out your deck. That's all that matters. I mean, I think Elgato will guess... just like take away this price. Oh yeah, when the set two comes out, I think that will drop substantially because people are gonna only play like probably a couple, like you said. So. Okay. All right. One or two. Only one or, one or two. One or two, yeah. It's still a really good option to go into, especially if you're already, like, you know, on Elgar, because that's basically all he does is he just gets plus 10k and then gets plus 10k shield, but this basically does the same thing, I guess. So. <laughs> but, you don't, but you don't have a... <laughs> but you okay, can okay. more cards All right, room. if you want a discussion, we'll have it right now. Elgar gives you 15 shield. This doesn't. Yeah. This loses you a card... Yeah. Potentially two cards. Potentially two cards <laughs> for attacking and trying to do pressure. Yeah, Elgar does what this does, but probably better, honestly. So, yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying. It's okay. It's going to get power crept by the next Varina. Oh, by the next Varina. <laughs> the horse Varina. Yeah, the horse. That would be a grade three, I bet. All right. Yep. Looks like a grade Keep three. Keep going on. All right. Best deck. Oh, my. Like best deck format. $52. Dollars. I didn't even see that. Holy God. Let's see. Market still... People are buying at 40 45 so I I guess. I mean, this is the next, but low <laughs> okay. listings. Low listings as well. But think about it. It's a one of, you know. Best deck in the format. Best deck. Best deck in the format. That's the extra tax. Yeah. yeah. One printing. Kind of just what you get. Only in Genesis of the grades. Five grades as well. All right, let's go with, uh, with the weird boy. Mr. Zolga. 85. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one's a little crazy, right? That one's yeah. that one's because it had consistent. It's not even a good deck. Yeah. See, they're banking on it to be good later down the line. There's a lot of potential. I think it's yeah. can be fair. See, being I 60? just bought four because I love the art, so I don't really care about Maybe it. Maybe that's and, and that's <laughs> and and you could be the problem too. <laughs> you could be the problem too. Yes. But I got it before it was well, this crazy. Three listings. <laughs> I got it at like you got, fifty or you, sixty. Okay, again, it's like you fifty fifty bucks was a lot even in Japan. Eh. It was like like twenty five thirty. Well, you have to consider Japan has. Uh, uh, yes, yes, they know, have more, more printing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But but still, like we're we're you, getting a reprint of this too. So. You would think. You know, August, right? That like like Fasado and Allen could probably are sh show up more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know. But he's your boss car. You're gonna see him on your Vanguard circle all the time. Yeah. I mean yeah. Fasado and yeah, Alden are their see, own boss yeah, car. Yeah, you don't <laughs> see Alden or Fasado. How much is Fasado right now? Fasado was like 30... 30 something? Was it 30 Fasado something? was like 35? Yeah. Well, I feel like the S the SP Perfect Guards are going to keep going out as people buy them out. So, so we're going to see what the set one reprint looks like. Mm -hmm. Better full arts. Better full arts. I'm yeah, still hoping waifu. for <laughs> waifu ones. <laughs> waifu full arts. Oh, those ones will just be expensive. Yeah. We'll have, like, see, we'll have to see what lyrical... It'll be like uh, Migeto chan or whatever. She's like 30, $300 now. Dang. You know that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I have one. I'll move on. All right, last one. Orphus. That's actually pretty cheap. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, it was at, like, almost 100, so now they I went I don't know down. how they distribute the SPs for cases. If it's, if it's super random per, like, case, then I guess this is okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because if it's super random, you're not guaranteed one per case, right? Same as the SP. I'm the problem with this. Is it? Is it? You, were you buying at seventy? Yeah, I made that. Oh, initiative. which one? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, don't I don't know which one it was. It was like a couple weeks ago. So. Oh my yeah. god! All right. Well, I mean, if you if you need them, and they're having good support in the next set. Yep. I think the support in the next set. Yeah, they're different. basically same with Barrel Magnus. That's basically why I, I want to finish my Neo Nectar. Place. Yeah, better Neo Nectar from V. Token control. Your tokens are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but that is all of the SPs we went through. Um, overall thoughts, I think. Uh, I, I can't tell if it's stable. I think that's the one thing. Okay, so here's what I think. Lower end, 
Go ahead, buy it. Upper end. Wait for the reprint. Wait for the reprint. That's my two cents. All right. Brian, you have anything you want to say? Uh, if you got the cash, just buy it. Just do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thanks for the insight. Yeah, no, no problem. Money, go buy it. <laughs> if you got the money, buy it. All right? Just do it. All right. Well, this is uh, Producer Sun. Free uh, Ange. Hashtag Free Ange. Hashtag Please. Free Ange. Please. Hashtag <laughs> Lady Captain. <laughs> You're Brayden now. You, you already introduced yourself as that. Okay, right? fine, Brayden. But right. that's my alternate ego. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, it's your, okay. Okay, okay. Just, John. John. <laughs>